Hey, what's up everyone? I want to do a video uh, talking a little bit about Zippo versus Ronson. And now just Zippo versus Zippo because Ronson is now owned by Zippo. Okay, they've been kind of head to head um, competitors for many, many, many years. Um, as long as, well, not as long as Zippo has been around, but Ronson has definitely um, been the alternative to Zippo's for many years, the cheaper alternative. Although, you know, pretty good quality. So I'm gonna directly compare a Ronson lighter, this is actually an older one, which I'll talk about in a second, to a real Zippo. We'll do a comparison. Before I do that, I wanna show you these packaging uh, to show that, you know, now, even though they're still Ronson, Zippo owns all the rights to them and everything. They basically bought the company, but then let them continue to do what they're doing, which is making uh, lighters overseas. I believe they're all made in China. Anyway, let's, here's a, a, a jet light. This is a butane uh, lighter from Ronson. This was sent to me by a viewer, which I greatly appreciate. It's a fantastic lighter, which will get its own review in the future. But if you look at the packaging here on the back, you'll see Ronson on the front, all right, Ronson on the back, blah, blah, blah. Let me get down to the bottom and let it focus. Made in China. Um, and then right here, we have Zippo's uh, contact. All right, Zippo Manufacturing Company, 33 Barber Street, Bradford, Pennsylvania. And this is Ronson and Jet Light are registered trademarks of Zippo. All rights reserved, okay? Now, I believe Zippo had purchased them in 2009, is my understanding. Um, so since then, doesn't matter which side of the fence you land on because Zippo gets the money at the end of the day. <laughs> Zippo's, uh, you know, it's a lot bigger than you think. And we've talked about it. They own Case Knives, you know, major knife company. And now they, they own their competitor, their biggest lighter competitor, in my opinion. Uh, way before these imports, like I recently talked about Team Pistol, Zippo-like lighters being very good. Way before those even existed or before I even knew about them in the States. Ronson, where was, where, where was that? If you didn't have 20 bucks to buy a Zippo, whoop, over here, <laughs> then you went to your pharmacy, you know, your grocery store, and you paid $4.99 for a Ronson wind light. That's just how it is. Now, this lighter was purchased at least, at least three or four years ago because when I first started um, making videos here on YouTube, I bought this specifically to do a video on it because I was into Zippos at the time as well, and I wanted to compare them. I never did. This sat in a drawer with other stuff I wanted to review, and it was found, and I just never got around to it. Can you believe that? For years and years now. But today I'm getting around to it. I'm gonna break it out of its dusty package. But I want to show you the old Ronson packages on the bottom, still made in China, nothing changes. Ronson Consumer Product Corp, Products Corp, okay, in Woodbridge, New Jersey. It's where they're all imported, even though they're made in, uh, in China. China. Um, but yeah. So there's a difference. So if you go to your, your store and you happen to get one of the older ones, you'll know because it won't say Zippo on the back. It'll have the original Ronson address, but not a huge deal. Let's break into it and see what this is all about, right? After so many years, finally doing it. So here we go, wow. Wow we. let's put this aside. I wanna save that wrapper. All right, so standard Zippo. It just happens to have some artwork on the front. This is a brushed uh, chrome, whereas this is a polished chrome but we'll directly compare them to each other. Right off the bat, um, top corners are more rounded on the Ronson. Man, look at that high polish on that. You see they're slightly more rounded. And there's my mouth moving. That's strange. All right, take a look at the side here. We have the quad spot weld on here. <laughs> it's not gonna make a big difference, but all the Zippo lighters have the basically two spot welds, which connects the hinge to the, the uh, base and the lid or cap. This looks like on each side there's two smaller ones, so there's four altogether. Not a big deal. Really should have no consideration at all because I've used Ronsons before and they, they hold up just as fine as Zippos. They're not any better or any worse as far as construction. On the back we got the Ronson logo. And on the bottom, we turn them both upside down. Zippo, you guys have seen a million times. This one was produced in 2004, okay? And there's the Ronson bottom, wind light, and big old China, China. <laughs> Advertising made in China. All right, so, oh, what a dull sound. It's just because I'm used to Zippos. 
That's definitely a bias. I have to admit that it just sounds so much cooler. It's my own bias. Means nothing. Still functional. Um, now, of course, this has a totally different uh, setup on the inside as to not copy patents and so forth. Now, you guys have seen the Zippo insert many, many times. Here's the Ronson. Works exactly the same, just has a different look to it. See the chimney. Instead of holes, they have slots. And you have a bracket that comes across here. Never really found this to be a problem on a Zippo. It's not like I, I've never in my life seen a broken wheel. It just doesn't happen. This thing lasts forever. The only problems the Zippos have, the biggest problem is right away, people play with them, or even if you're just using them normally, the lids get loose. That's the biggest problem with them. The second problem is after many years, the cam spring underneath the cam, it goes all the way down below there. Sometimes that breaks with wear, you know. Occasionally the cam, it's not the cam, but the, the pin that holds in the cam. From normal use, that's basically what happens. But the wheel never falls off. It doesn't need this like more robust kind of design you have on the Ronson. They both work the same. They both have, you know, your spark wheel, flint underneath, flint tube, flint screw. Same uh, rayon or cotton on the inside. Same felt pads. This one says lift the fill. This one just says fuel. Same difference. Same little hole. It's very, very similar. Okay. Just not identical. But both very functional. Let's see what we have on here. Keep away from children after fueling, wipe down. Right, it's similar to a Zippo. No date marks at all on Ronson's, so there's no way to know when they were made. The reason that Zippos have date marks, it's not specifically for collectability, um, it was for quality control. Okay, they wanna make sure that if you had problems with yours, they can match exactly when it was made so they can pinpoint the problem which is pretty cool, but of course that gives us more precise information about the lighter as to when it was made or perhaps where it was made in some cases, and that helps dramatically with collectability. But overall, functionality works fine. It really does work fine. If you want a Zippo-esque type lighter, uh, again, due to you know recent capabilities of going to these import sites and buying, like I said before, the Team Pistol lighters, I still think the Team Pistols are almost a perfect copy of a Zippo without saying a Zippo on it. So I would recommend them more than the Ronsons. However, you know, my personal experience with these sites is they take a month or longer to get your crap and sometimes it's not even the right crap, you know? So for five bucks, pretty much anywhere, $4.99, you know, so if it's overpriced, maybe $8, you'll find a Ronson. Okay, you can still do the same little Zippo tricks. Of course, that wasn't very impressive. But yes, you can do all the same tricks you would with a normal Zippo with these Ronson lighters. So if you want to do your Zippo tricks, but you don't want to ruin your nice Zippo, go get one of these for five bucks. All right, you can practice all your little tricks on it, you know, and then if you want to do the trick on camera or something, you don't want to be made fun of for using a Ronson, not that anyone would make fun of you, go ahead and switch over to your Zippo. Well worth it. Um, you know, look at price and availability. You'll find these, like I said, grocery stores. You'll find Ronson lighters uh, at dollar stores on the NRACs. You'll find them all the time, all day long, five bucks. Um, a very common place to find both real Zippos and, uh, you know, Ronson lighters are pharmacies. I've said this before. Pharmacies are great sources for lighters. I don't know why. Rite Aid, you know, CVS. Um, I can't think of any other right now. I don't know why. I lived in Jersey, actually worked at one. Eckerd, Eckerd Drugstore. <laughs> that was a fun time. I got story, I could do story time about when I worked at Eckerd. But anyway, um, yeah, go to your local pharmacy. They have these things. So even your mom and pop shops, they'll probably have them cheap because you know, they don't get purchased too often in those. Anyway, that's all guys. Oh, one more thing real quick. If you haven't following the pipe videos, uh, I will also recommend if you're in a pharmacy, you can get a uh, Missouri man or excuse me, a Meerschaum man. Actually, that might even be two different colors. I don't, uh, just a quick note, if you've been following the pipe stuff, a lot of people ask what's a good first pipe. Uh, if you don't know if you're gonna like the hobby or not, uh, go ahead and while you're getting one of these $5 lighters at your pharmacy, they probably have corn cob pipes. You can find them at gas stations and smoke shops and, and pharmacies. And you get the Meerschaum man ones. They're very good quality corn cobs for like six bucks. Sometimes as, as cheap as four or as expensive as like nine. They're very affordable if you want to you know, try it out and not invest so much in an expensive pipe. But that has nothing to do with the video, so I don't even know why I mentioned it. Anyway, 
that's all guys just want to compare these two and this one that one right there that collects all your fingerprints look at that anyway now it's bothering me gotta get rid of them uh, yeah this lighter is going to be given away in a special upcoming who knows when contest giveaway because I have so many ideas for cool giveaways to make people happy and yippee and something to look forward to and fun stuff. So yeah, I look forward to that in the future. I won't keep this forever. I don't have a specific need for it. I got plenty of Zippos. So I just wanted to do this video with it. You guys see it's brand new. I'm not even going to fill it. No fluid in this at all. Okay, it's going to be brand new. It's going to go to one of you guys. Hey, you guys. <laughs> all right, that's all. Uh, by the way, that was a Goonies reference. Thanks for watching. As always, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.